So, I like to say we're going from worst to first. Our current facility is woefully deficient. You would think that education was an afterthought if you were to walk around here. Our laboratories are also woefully inadequate because they don't really take advantage of current technology and there are a whole host of other issues that limit us in our science. Our new facility will address each of those problems. So this is a new building for the College of Pharmacy and this project will have multiple different spaces in it. We have teaching and education spaces. We have dedicated research lab facilities. But probably the most unique aspect of the building that is in the basement is a fully functional pharmaceutical production facility uh, that major manufacturers can contract with to run and create small batches of test pharmaceuticals. It's something that doesn't exist in, anywhere else in the country that I'm aware of. The project currently is a little over halfway. We are in enclosure of the project, so our exterior skin is uh, going on. Our interiors are being roughed in. Mechanical systems are roughed in 70% of the way. The challenge of having classrooms, labs, and the production facility means you have more contractors. And that we have 60 different contractors, because you can't just work on classrooms, there's a simple drywall. You don't have just labs, which is one contractor. You don't have just a lab production facility, which is a whole different set of contractors. Uh, our new technology that we're using is really the paperless site. So it started with a monitor, a computer, and a printer that sits in a gang box with access of read-only to all the documentation, all the models, everything that would be needed by a subcontractor, anybody that comes in. Having a paperless job site is revolutionary in terms of the way things have been done for years. You always had a guy's rolling plans out on the you know, hood of the truck or whatever, and here we are, we have three 60-inch monitors in our job trailer. We have two 30-inch monitors out on site. That is our virtual hood of a truck. You know, normally on a construction job, there's reams of paperwork. We have uh, five volumes of just construction drawings, five volumes of spec books. Uh, to have all of that and to maintain that as current is a monumental undertaking. And then to have that available in the cloud, Everybody can see the updated drawings. Everybody knows the current scope of work, and we can communicate you know, seamlessly using that cloud application. It's been fantastic. The University of Iowa wanted a better way of capturing issues, and so we decided to barcode our rooms. The idea would be anybody could walk into that room, grab the barcode, and bam, you're in that room. And once you're in that room in BIM 360 field, we can take in-wall photos, attach them to that room. We can do 360 degree photos and attach them to that room. We can also start attaching issues. So as you walk into a space and you want to have an issue in that, take a picture of the barcode and then any issues that you have are tied to that piece of room. And what's really cool is that we can use those same barcodes as a means of communication here on the job site with the contractors. As they get equipment installed and they're happy with the delivery of the equipment, there's no damage. They can scan that barcode and they can log it in as having been uh, accepted. The project is better because of cloud collaboration because we're able to react quickly to issues. We can share the model with the, with the contractor, the contractor can share their model with us, and we can work together again in that real time to adjust to issues that the contractor is finding in the coordination of making sure all the ducts and pipes and everything are fitting above the ceilings. And if there's a conflict, we can then together figure out how to solve that. It's benefit to us for building the right thing and it's also easier for us to turn over to the owner what the, we're actually building. The architect is keeping up his drawings, we're keeping up our model and drawings and the owner gets a better turnover at the end of the project. The proudest moment for me might be two years from now sitting at another University of Iowa project and the owner saying to me this is a requirement, this is now what we want, this is our expectation, we've raised the bar. I've always enjoyed working on challenges, puzzles when I was a kid, and that's all construction is, is just how to put it together more efficiently, faster. The greatest reward is just the pure excitement of everybody going to that space. It is not much better than that for being in construction because I mean, they appreciate, they don't know all the hardship. They just go, wow, this is, this is awesome. So that's, that is a great feeling. I've had an opportunity to visit with the construction workers. 
I wanted them to understand that the fact that what they're doing is not only going to have an impact at the University of Iowa, but it's going to have a global impact. And yes, we have science going on in this building that could conceivably change the way in which we currently treat disease. Thank you.